Yo, once again, welcome to another video of Venom on my series. My name is Tano. I recently been getting emails, you guys asking me how to mix and master a new song in Element My Sense. I recently made a video on how to mix it Element My Spot. I think there is always new stuff to learn and there is a lot of new stuff that I've learned that I want to share with you guys. So we're gonna take a listen, a quick listen on the track and then we start with the process. Great, so I would usually start with EQing out stuff or I could tear the kick and the 808, they kind of coincide somewhere. There are some frequencies that are trying to uh, merge together and of course the hi-hat and the snare. So right away what I'm going to start with is, um, first of all I'm going to solo, I'm going to solo the snare only to take a listen. And I'll put an EQ. Cut out the low end and you know there are some frequencies, some crazy crazy frequencies around here. The reason why I'm cutting out the low end is because you know the kick and the 808 kind of occupies the low end so and one of our main goals is to make our mix as clear as possible so you have to clean out the low end. I'll do the same with this. Clean out this. And maybe around here I can see some crazy frequencies. Okay, moving on to the hi hats. So I'll call this process uh, cleaning out the frequencies. I think I can pan this one to the left and this to the right. You know, sometimes it's not about EQ and it's about um, just a simple re reduction in the gain. It can really make a difference. So um, let's hear the kick. Let's put the 808 together and hear how it sounds like. So what I'll do, I'll add an EQ. I usually use Nova. So I'm going to solo the 808 in the kick. So after EQing right here, I'll press on the threshold. So this, this is a dynamic EQ. So what I'm doing here is to, every time that kick hits, you know, there's a lot going on around here. So um, there's uh, going, ongoing operation. 
vibration around this area. All right, what's going on right now is a side chain that I always use using the Nova EQ. Um, I always put it on my kick 0808 to cut out the cosiding uh, frequencies. So um, right now I've I've used a, a dynamic EQ and I've put it on my 808 and it's cutting out those frequencies that are coinciding with the kick. So every time the kick hits and the 808 hits at the same time, there is always um, those frequencies that are coinciding. So this dynamic EQ is basically removing those frequencies and this is making my mix a little cleaner than uh, leaving them um, untouched. And by the way, there is also a side chain, a normal side chain that is going on with the kick and the 808 that I didn't mention. Um, I used the peak controller and stuff. So um, you you could use you could use a side chain compression, but I wouldn't love to use a side compression in areas like this one. I would love to EQ out those unwanted frequencies with the kick and the 808 and the mix. So. Let's blend each and everything in and give it a listen and hear how it sounds like. Let me listen to it. try to EQ out the middle end just like this one it's the clip out You don't want to EQ out each of your thing because um, it will lose value, I would say. I know some folks always start with leveling up, but this is the car the workflow that I use uh, back and forward in the process, you know, because even in the creation of the track, I always try to mix a little bit so Okay, that is amazing. So we all know that Elemon West doesn't have buses and stuff. So I already see folks putting a lot of notes for these drugs, but um, I recently just found this out by myself that I only need like keys and drums. This is why. So we're gonna assign all these um, instruments to one and all the drums to do and i show you real quick what i really need here the click it will go to two and go to two and this will go to two so i do have two buses for um, one for the keys and one for the drums
So in this way, uh, if I if if I add any effect onto anything right here onto the drums, I mean onto the keys, it will affect everything. So let's say I want to add an EQ. Uh, the drums are already punching without even adding a compressor or anything just because um, they are hitting in the right frequencies. Negative six decibels. Another thing, maybe I can add a compressor onto my drums. amazing so i'm gonna do is to export my track there's a lot that you could do from here but um you know it's all about the air thing and i might be right i might be wrong but this is the process that i use so after that i try to export my track so it's guitar b right there so it's guitar b right there i'll leave each and everything as it is and then I'll export the track. Basically, I'm done with my track. The next process will be a mastering. And that makes it the end of this video. And if you love the video, show some love. And if you don't love the video, <laughs> react to a thumbs down. That's fine. So, um, my next video will be about mastering. And I think I'll use the same track. I'm out. Peace.